Hey folks, this is an Acroid multiple sensor weather station. The pressure is right on the top of it and then um, outside is still learning since it's about like a few days old. You're gonna see that little brain right here. That right there will disappear. It's still like uh, looking at what's going on outside. It's kind of pretty accurate already. That's outdoors and that's my signal to the uh, sensor that's the living room which uh, we place this right around where we sit uh, on the couch and all that the other is the unit itself I place it more like strategically where I can see the unit I place it where we can play uh, see the unit without getting off anywhere I don't have to get up from my you know desk or couch or whatever so this other we don't pay attention because this kind of sits somewhere where we don't really need the temperature. Most important temperature on the top right, that's the baby sleeping. So we always make sure she sleeps under 70. We're in Florida, so we need cooler, you know. That's the uh, signal, that's the signal right there. This device is pretty cool. The only down part, which is like uh, a really negative for this device is it doesn't show the detail on the temperature. I really need to see one tenth of a Fahrenheit so I can tell uh, what the temperature is doing like going up or down so I know I currently don't know if it's gonna go like low 68s or high 68s close to 69 so I can adjust my uh, climate control in the house according to this so it's pretty good uh, for the price and this was a bundle with three sensors and this uh, digital display with showing four of them is about 100 bucks free shipping from Acrite. If you're interested, you should look into this device. By the way, the sensors are pretty resilient to cold and hot, so you can literally stick one in the freezer. So this other, probably gonna be my freezer since we don't use it, so the clock is automatic clock. I didn't have to set, adjust anything, so the signal is uh, by itself. I also have alarm set for this uh, baby part. If it goes under 65 and if it goes over 74, I'm going to get an alarm. So you see that alarm button right there. There's none over here, which you can set those also. Very easy to adjust. And the top has a dimmer. So if it's nighttime, you can like literally, if it's by you, you can dim one or you can just like dim two. And then, you know, that's the auto light just came on right there at nighttime. It'll recognize what's going on. So that's the brightest it's going to get. I keep it on brightest. We don't sleep around it so it doesn't bother us. All right, let me know if you have any questions and uh, go ahead and watch the other ones that I have. I reviewed all of these uh, really nice HD multiple sensor devices. Uh, so my videos will give you a great idea what to buy.